What's good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of the OSI model, where we give you nothing but that application you can apply directly to your life. I'm Duan. Today, we're talking 10 tips to help you prepare for certification success. This video has been sponsored by the good folks over at CompTIA. If you don't know, I am preparing for the CompTIA Linux Plus XK0-004 certification. I'm on a goal to improve my skill set as a senior network engineer and also I encourage others to learn Linux. In this video, we'll be doing a giveaway that we will announce this Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time live on my YouTube channel. In the giveaway, we give away one CompTIA Linux Plus product to help you prepare for your certification. But also, I'll be giving away one Raspberry Pi as well on my live stream. This Raspberry Pi is the new one. The Raspberry Pi 4B. The 1 gig Raspberry Pi. These are hot off the press and I got two. I'm giving away one this week and one next week. I'll let you know how you can win on the live stream. So tune in. Tune in and I'll let you know how you can win. So... And if you have not already signed up for the CompTIA Convos Linux Plus Huddle, I will have all of that information in the description below. But no further ado, let's talk about the top 10 tips to help you prepare for certification success. Number one, have a plan. Whenever you go into certifications, it's always best to have a plan. Start with your exam objectives, print those out. Look at them, see what you know, see what you don't know. From there, Create a plan. How long you think it'll take you for your certification? Write that down. Even if you underestimate or overestimate, write it down. Create a plan, create a strategy. Evaluate your life. Can you even manage the time allowed for this certification? Because certifications take dedication. They, they take time. They take money. They take all of that. So what you need to do? It's plan not only for certification success, plan for how much it's going to cost for the certification, plan for your resources, plan for the time that you're going to dedicate every day for the certification, plan all of that. That's number one on the list. Number two, get equipped. Now that you have your plan, now you need to get equipped. What resources are you going to use for your certification? For example, for me, I'm using the CompTIA Linux Plus ebook. I'm also using the CompTIA Linux Plus Cert Master Learn, and I'm also using the CompTIA Linux Plus Labs to help prepare for my certification. So when you're preparing for your certification, Google what resources you will need. Hit CompTIA blogs up. Hit YouTube videos up. Ask people that have already passed their certification what resources and tools they use. Ask questions. Get equipped with the right tools to help you prepare for certification success. Number three, get organized. Look, organization when it comes to preparing for certification is extremely important. Let's talk about that. If you know me, if you've been following me, I use OneNote to a T. I take the exam objectives, I print them out, I also put them in my OneNote, I tab them up, and then I go from there and I put my notes all in OneNote so I know I cover every topic in the certification. I organize my calendar, I try to organize my life to say, okay, at this set amount of time, I'm going to study. I create note cards. I do everything I can to help prepare for certification success. I organize my office. I do my best to keep this as clean and organized as possible because any amount of chaos can mess up you mentally and get you off track and just throw everything off when you're preparing for certification. So the best thing that I do for myself to help me is to be organized. Number four on the list, get focused. No matter how much motivation that you give yourself or how many people you follow on the internet, that does not matter. What's gonna matter is the work that you put in for this certification. Realize and accept that nobody's gonna pass this certification for you. You gotta put in the work, you gotta do it yourself. Accept that, get focused, have that tunnel vision, eliminate those distractions and get after it. Number five, track your progress. Now that's kind of hard to do. How do you track your progress? Now if you go back to what I mentioned before about printing out the exam objectives, once you print those out and you go through them, now you have a 
milestone marker to say, okay, I went through this, this, and this, and then you labbing up. Are you able to get through the last with no problem? And then your no cards, are you able to answer these with no problems? Track your progress. See, well, I went through these 25 note cards. I'm getting them all right. Track your progress. Even if you have to put like a calendar or something that you mark every day how far you came or do something to track your progress so you'll know how far you came and how much you're prepared. One cool thing about Cert Master Learn is that it allows me to track my progress every time I go through a chapter or I go through note cards. It lets me know how much closer I am to preparation and what level of preparation I have. So that's one thing I like about the Cert Master Learn. Number six, get your why. Look, sometimes we all need a little motivation. But motivation is just a dopamine and it's temporary. Sometimes we all got tunnel vision. But sometimes we get distracted and life happens. But one thing's for sure, when you got a why, when you have a purpose, no matter what happens in your life, that why and that purpose is always going to ring true. One purpose for me was not being broke. I was tired of being broke. And so for you, if you're tired of being broke, when you're tired of being tired, that's when that why kicks in. Like, look, I want a better life for me. I want a better life for my family. And I just want better. Have that why. Use that, catapult that to get you to where you want to be. Now, for the giveaway, in the comment section below, what I want you to do is give me one tip that you use to prepare for certification success. Whether it's one I mentioned or if it's one of your own, leave it in the comment section below. And then, along with that one tip, also use the hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. So, in the comment section below, in order to win one CompTIA Linux Plus product, what you'll do is comment below one tip on what you use to prepare for certification success along with the hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. Number seven, get automated. What do you do in your life that's repetitive that you can automate? Think about that. Think long and hard about this one. Like what's important in your life? Well, if the news on social media is important in your life, maybe you can set up some type of Google Trends or Google Alerts to where it tells you the top CompTIA news and emails it to you every day. Rather than you spending all the time on social media looking for the news, set up your Google Alert so that way it comes right to you. You get what I'm saying? Find those things that you spend five, ten minutes every hour doing that you can automate to say, okay, I'm looking for this information all day long. Let me set up a Google alert. And now when I wake up in the morning or when I go to sleep at night, I just check the list of alerts. And then I spend a couple minutes just getting up to date on the latest news. And the rest of the time I can use to prepare for certification success. Number eight, evaluate how and when you learn best. I can tell you what to do to prepare for a certification. But that does not mean my recipe will work for you. Even the tips I'm sharing for you, you can take them, try them. If they don't apply, throw them out. Evaluate what works for you. Take your learning, take your career in your hands. Find what works best for you. If you're a morning learner, focus on getting up early enough to prepare for your certification. If you're a night owl, focus on getting everything done so you can focus on studying at night to prepare for certification success. If you're a book reader, find the book that's most interesting to you and read that book to prepare for certification success. If you are a visual learner and you watch videos to learn, find you a good instructor that's gonna teach it in a way where it's conducive to your learning. If you are a hands-on person, lab every day. Facts. Let's get to it. Number nine, get creative in your learning. Look, I mentioned in the last one that this is your career. This is your learning. This is your life. You can make it as boring as you want, or you can have as much fun as you want. Certifications can be daunting. They can be draining. They can be a challenge, or they can be a blast. How do you want to do it? Now, if you're trying to cram a certification in two weeks, 
that's going to be hard work. But if you take your time and realize that every day is a journey and you embrace it and you're learning and you're labbing, that can be really fun. If you're being creative to find creative ways to remember the Linux commands in alphabetical rap or rhyme or something, shoot it to me in a chat or something in a DM or a tweet or whatever. That'd be pretty dope. But however you're creative and you're learning, embrace that and find what works for you. So you can have an enjoyable experience to get you where you want to be while you're preparing for certification success. Number 10, I mentioned a little bit about motivation, but write affirmation statements. Take a long look in the mirror and say, I'm going to pass this certification. Say, I'm doing everything that I can do to prepare for certification success. And no matter what happens, I am going to put in the work to pass. Believe in yourself. Even when you think no one else believes in you, that's even more reason for you to believe in you. Accept that it's hard. Do what you got to do to learn this information and achieve your goal. Don't let nothing stop you. Even when life happens, get back on that horse. And keep riding. I believe in you. Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. In the comment section below, give me one tip on how you prepare for certification and success. And use the hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. I thank you all for viewing. I hope you all have a great rest of the week. I'll see you Sunday. Lab every day and I'm out. Peace.